Welcome back, everybody, to a brand new episode, Age of Engineering. We are back at it. As you can see, I've been a little bit busy, and I decided that we weren't progressing quite quick enough. So I made up the mining dimension, like I said, but I also went to the nether. Um, I did a little exploring in the nether. I got some blaze powder, or blaze rods, magma creams. We got some nether rack. Some of that type of stuff. I didn't see any nether wart, or else I probably would have grabbed some of that. But we did get quite a few different things that we can at least look to use here early on this episode. And one of those is our nether brick, indeed. Uh, so, with the nether brick and the blaze powder, we have the blast furnace, indeed. So... This is awesome. <laughs> it's all I can really say about it. Uh, absolutely awesome. We are going to build this guy up. Same size as the Coke oven right beside it. And we need our little hammer. Boop, 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 boop. That's the guy. And boom. Blast furnace get. I know, right? So quick. So early. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Good. Good, good, good. Now, of course, we have this leftover blast brick and leftover coal coke or coke brick, I should say. Um, we should probably do something with both of those, but I can't really decide what exactly. So we'll uh, leave it for right now. I might make a whole nother set of them. Uh, that might be a good way to go. But for right now, we just need some storage space. So we'll just do it like that. And away we go. Also, I'm just going to quickly repair up our pickaxe fully. Because I did get some cobalt. Indeed. Alright, so cobalt. Uh, let's just take a look. When we smelt this. Oh man, we're only going to get one for it. Wow. Can we? Oh, we can macerate it. Okay, good. And then that we can smelt. Okay. Woo! I was a little worried there. I was a little bit worried there. So let's take out our auto eject and let's macerate up some cobalt. I want to get two and I want to replace my pickaxe head with a cobalt one. Just to kind of improve our situation a little bit over here. This guy here, we also need to get started oh, like yesterday. Uh, two days ago basically with some steel so let's get some blocks of iron and we'll throw those in there like that and in the meantime while i'm waiting for the coal coke we're just gonna throw in a little bit of coal no you can't okay needs to be coal coke i thought i'd double check i thought i'd double check all right good cobalt powder excellent we'll put that guy back in and we will smelt down this cobalt. Okay, so we'll get a quick little pickaxe head. Awesome. Now, equally, I also want to get the manulin. Yeah. Yeah, why not, right? So, I'm going to grind up a little bit more of both cobalt and ardite. Those two combined are going to get us manulin which should allow us to get a manulin sword blade, which is going to be awesome. And maybe something else. We'll see. Um, I'm not sure. We might be able to get a manulin tip as well for our arrows, which would make them quite a bit stronger. So we'll just do up the ardite. We'll do up the cobalt. We'll get these two smelting as well. Might as well get that started. We still have a decent amount of fuel, which is great. Okay. Pickaxe head, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And cobalt pickaxe head, here we go. Ultimately, at this point in time, I really want to rush the tool forge. Uh, there we go. So, as you can see, we went from a mining speed of 12 to 17. We went from 260 durability to 865, which is massive. That is one of the biggest things for that change. Okay, good. Let's get our Ardite. Boop, boop. 
we'll get that smelted up as well forming a blend of sorts and we will look to get ourselves a new sword at least very good i do have the steel going here um i decided that we might as well do both at the same time and if we get more slag it'll be for the better anyways so we'll get this guy started with the coal coke as we progress along the biggest problem that i have here is the creosote right like the creosote itself is kind of a pain to deal with um like we can't get into that well actually we can huh i didn't know that that was a thing but anyways, we can't get into too much of an advancement when it comes to, like, storage or anything. Um, this would be, like, the next level up. And that gets us to 28 buckets. This guy only holds uh, da, 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 16, I think it is. This one's 16. Yeah, there's not really too many options here. Tinker's Tank. Tinker Tank Controller. Is that something we can do? Void Tank. Maybe we can do like a Tinker Tank Controller? I don't know. Maybe that's something we can do. Uh, to store some of this creosote. Because I already have like way too much of it. Way too much of it. Okay. Anyways. Uh, two ingots of manulin. Excellent. Sword away we go now i'm thinking i should get two more for my arrows uh i probably will uh they're pretty much the best way to go early on with any type of uh damage anything uh but this should help us quite a bit in the way we do things good manulin boom 10 attack very nice very very nice okay I do think I'm going to get one more of each of these for the iron tip. Uh, for my arrows, I think that's a great idea. Outside of that, uh, what are we doing? We're waiting on steel, big time. Uh, do we have any sort of piping? Anything. Uh, pipes from extra utilities even. Hopper ducks. You know what? Can we just do hopper ducks? I actually don't know. Like, that's not bad, but what about the transfer node? Okay. So we could do that. That's not the worst. That is not the worst idea. Where we could just kind of pump out the coke cold coke automatically into this might be a good way to go might be a good way to go hmm i'm gonna have to ponder this a little bit that might be what we need to do that and maybe we do like a tinker's uh tank maybe we'll do a tinker's tank with that sounds pretty good to me sounds pretty good to me Give me that. All right. But either way, we're getting the iron slowly but surely processed up as we proceed along, as well as more over here. So we're doing it at both ends, uh, getting iron at both sides, which is really, really useful. And it's going to slowly creep up our iron production. Now we need 36 total iron to automatically get ourselves the tool forge which i really want to get because that's going to give me a hammer which is going to allow me to get more resources faster all right um outside of that we're going to have to look into things like this you know start to get into some automated mining as we progress along and to start into our next age which is calculator uh, so those will be two of the things that are coming up very shortly here. Uh, let's just get our arrowhead like that. All right. Good stuff. 
Okay. Um, feeling pretty good. I kind of feel like we need to build or something, but I don't know if I have time for that this evening. So our attack goes from 8 to 12.72, and we also gain 50 arrows. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I feel like we're a little bit more decked out. I feel like we are a little bit stronger. I think what we're going to do is let's start on... Do we have any seared bricks lying around? Or did we use them all up? Or did we just not make many more? I don't think we really made any more outside of our basic smeltery. So maybe doing that seared tank isn't the way to go. Maybe we will just settle down a little bit and build something else. All right, well, while we're waiting for the steel, which should give us our first one there, and we'll just fire that up a little bit more. While we're waiting on that, let's look into progressing to the next age. So to progress to the next age, triggers age two, you need to make a calculator. A calculator is basically cobblestone, we need a calculator screen, which is cobblestone around that. Buttons and steel with copper. Okay. Copper. Steel. Right. This is our first step. We do this. Boom. That gets us that. Good. Scientific calculator, you say. This is going to be cobble and a button or two. Okay, we can do that decently easy. One, two. <laughs> Snuck it in. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Oh, are we honestly one short over there? Oh, man. Okay. Anyways, we still have need a lot of steel. That's fine. Okay, two buttons. Obviously, there's buttons on the calculator. And last but not least was the screen, right? So one redstone surrounded by cobblestone. Like so. Alright, calculator screen. Boom. What? That's not the recipe. That's not the recipe. Four buttons. Four buttons. Plus another two buttons. Oh man. All the boutons. All the boutons. Alright, that should give us our first block of steel, I think. Which is way faster than this blast furnace is. Mind you, you could do multiples of these blast furnaces. Just boom, 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 boom. And it might be pretty darn efficient. I'm not too sure on the logistics behind that. Okay. Button, button. Good. Good. Button, button. Cobble. Calculator screen. Calculator. Nailed it. Beginning of the next stage. Sweet. All right. Good. We will put down the trophies at some point in time. Do not fear. Do not fear. Alright, I know nothing about this calculator mod. Now, I know that this triggered age 2, but we need to generate RF power. So, we could use the hand crank generator. Oh my. The survival generator. Okay. Uh, da, 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 and we can store it with the power cube from calculator. But it can only charge items. Okay. Alright, so we're going to need some sort of generator. Um, let's take a look at the crank generator. Crank generator. Hand crank generates 18 RF. Requires steel. Oh boy. Crank handle. Okay. Uh, what about the clockwork? Clockwork engine. Um, it requires a clock. Requires a copper gear and a piston. Copper gear requires steel. All right. Cool. Cool. Learning things. All right. And the last one was the survivalist generator. Again, same steel mechanism. And boom, away we go. But zero maintenance. Mm, I'm wondering if I don't go this route. I might go survivalist gen. 
Maybe it's because I'm mostly familiar with it. It is going to be a drain on our resources, though, which has me a little concerned, a little worried. But let's at least start getting this. Uh, worst case, I can add in a crank of some sort or a clockwork of some sort to get what we need. There we go. Some steel. Actually, you know what? No. No. You know what? These are going to be saved to be compressed. Compress you. These guys here we will use to make the things. Okay. Good. Glad I got that figured out. Okay. Steel mechanism. And boom and boom. Survivalist generator. Okay. So if we throw this guy down right over here. It's obviously going to need something to burn. We're not really using uh, as much stuff as we were. So we'll start burning this and getting some RF. The next thing that we needed, it said that we needed was the power cube. Power cube from calculator. So that requires a block of redstone, some compressed cobalt. So that's a whole bunch of coal. I think it's just coal. It has to be coal. Pretty sure. Coal, coal, coal. Carbon dust. Pretty sure that's just coal. Yeah, that's just coal. Okay. So, a whole bunch of coal around some flint. Alright. Some flint, eh? Okay. Alright, can we do this? Yeah, we can. Alright, we need at least two. I'm pretty sure I only had one in there. I did. Okay, good. So this is going to be 16 coal. Macerated up. And that's going to give us the glowstone chunk. So let's start macerating that. And getting this process started. Good. Those are all empty. We'll start. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> we need to make them into plates first, you silly willy. Alright, good. Get that going. Awesome. Progression. 400 glowstone. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, good. We will get our coal chunks. We will get our power cube. That way we can at least charge our calculator. I assume that we can't charge our calculator in our bat box. Right? No. It takes RF. So, we can't just simply charge it like that. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, okay, we need that. We need that. We need that. Progression. Progression is what I am seeing. So, we have a little bit of power stored up in there. I think we're just going to connect this directly to it. So, in the meantime, let's quickly get ourselves... Nine of you. Beautiful. And we can throw down like that. And then we can work on our coal chunks. Okay. Definitely need more coal coke. <laughs> Definitely need more coal coke. I'm debating even getting a whole another coal coke oven. And we are definitely going to need bigger storage. But I'm kind of debating the void tank. I am kind of debating the void tank, wherever that was. Um, void tank by Neotech. Is that the only one that can do... That kind of seems to me like the only one that can do fluid voiding. Which kind of sucks. And that's obsidian, glass, and an ender pearl. I think I have one ender pearl. So we could get that. We could get that. I'd have to go mine a little bit of obsidian as well. But that's not too bad of a deal. That is not that bad of a deal. Okay. There's one coal chunk. We'll get that guy started. Boom. Or coal ball, I should say. And this guy goes in our compressor over here. We'll throw those in like that. And now we need another one. Now we need another one, which means, obviously, everything. This is pretty much what we're going to be doing. 
Uh, we need to get all of this up and running here. So, there's our compressed coal ball. And we can get our those going again. So we are one away. One away from getting that done. And then getting power to our calculator. I have no clue. You know, it's funny. I've never played with the calculations mod. So, that's a thing that I'll have to figure out as we progress along. In the meantime, let's quickly go get a couple pieces of obsidian. I know I can make it pretty easily, uh, but I don't really have the lava either at this point in time to pull that off. I do have a little section over here where oh, I don't have any... Hmm. That is a bit of a situation. We'll find out if there's lava behind here, I guess. Yep, there was. Okay. Alright. Um, is there lava behind this door? And we lost our magnet, too, didn't we? Ow, oh, man. Okay. Well, this was a fail. This was a fail. I don't think I even have any water nearby. Alright, so we got the obsidian, but we also made it back up. And we have our other coal ball that we can look to get, which is very good. This will give us our coal chunk and, of course, our power cube. I'm making, as well, the four pieces of glass for that void thing. Again, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I guess we'll find out all in due time. Alright, power cube. Boom. So there we go. So now we should be able to get power into our calculator. Woohoo! Whatever that means. I have no clue, to be honest with you all. I've never played with calculators. So this is going to be quite the experience. Um, I think I'm going to do this. Even if I have to manually pipe out the stuff into the void tank. I think this is a good idea. We just have way too much creosote overall. So what I think I'll do, boom, boom, we'll get that going and we'll just void them as we deem necessary. Can we do this? No. We actually have to go into it. Well, that's annoying. That's a little annoying. But it will work for right now. We could maybe look to use some pipes or something for that. But we'll figure that out as we get a little closer. I have the two there waiting anyways. Two full. And it, I have a feeling that we're going to have a decent amount of creosote going forward. Just call it a hunch. But I'm not overly concerned about our creosote production. So, overall, um, we should have our nine steel plates. Good. We need to compress those. Okay. Those guys are going to work us towards our tool forge. They do require dense steel plates, uh, as well as the seared stone over and above the tool station. So, this will be our first dense steel plate. Good. And the tool station... I think we can grab it while we have it now. I don't think there's really a concern or a problem with that. So we'll put that in place over here. The other thing that I, we, I noticed there is we do need some more seared brick. So let's quickly get some of that cooking over here. Uh, I think it's eight per. Right? I think it's eight per the thing. I'm pretty sure that's the case. And then we can just put it in the casting basin. I think that's right. But anyways, our calculator is fully powered up. So what does that mean? Well, now we can do things, right? Now we have a whole bunch of recipes of stuff that we can do. Reinforced stone, PA wrench, which obviously requires things. Enriched gold reinforced iron ingot which is some of that reinforced stone okay so all of this stuff is going to require 
us to kind of figure out exactly where we need to go. Rain sensor. Ooh, enrich coal. Is grown from prune seeds. Planted with advanced greenhouse or higher. Coal dust grown from prune seeds. Well. Huh. That's intriguing. Okay. Okay. A lot of different ways to basically get some prune seeds is what I'm seeing. Um, but overall, that's very cool. All right. Um, yeah. I'll have to figure all that out. But I guess let's take a quick look at the guide and see what it says. Power cube. It only stores power. Uh, yeah. And charge it in the power cube. Good. Now we can also generate power with a peat-fired engine. All right. And we can also craft a coal generator. Well, coal generators, if I remember correctly, are pretty solid um, way to start out. So let's just take a look at that quickly here. Coal gen from Action Editions. Coal coke. Iron casing. E. It's a little expensive. And some reinforced stone. Reinforced stone we can make with wood and cobblestone. Okay. Let's give this a quick try. Let's see. So, wood with cobblestone. Reinforced stone. Oh, that's super, super nice. Okay. Yeah, that's no big deal at all. Okay, we'll do that quickly. We'll get the next ones going here. And we'll pour like that. Okay. We are doing some stuff with a calculator, everybody. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right, let's get this guy as well. <laughs> Ways to creative cell. If only they wish. Mind you, some of them might be close to it. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything until I get proven otherwise. Okay, so we'll do those. We'll get more cold coke here. I saw you. I heard you. I heard you. What are you doing up there? Get out of here. I saw you. Okay, good. Overall... I am thoroughly impressed. Uh, I did not want to use that for fuel, but it's fine. So we can make a whole bunch of that reinforced stone, which is going to be useful for quite a few different things. We could do some reinforced tools, which is nice. There is a scientific calculator that requires it, okay? Atomic calculator, dynamic calculator, Stone separator. Oh, man. There's a lot of different things here. Reinforced chest. Grenade casing. Docking station. All right. Module workstation. Stone assimilator. Tongue binder. And the coal generator itself. As well as the oil generator from Action Editions. So there's definitely some things. And we also needed to make the reinforced iron ingots which are going to allow us to make uh, we can get even better tools stone separator no clue what that does advanced assembly but it does get us the atomic reconstructor okay which is definitely something that we want to progress towards so let's get a little bit more of this something like that sure and then that will be a little bit of that and that good and then we need this to become plates all right so that's our second one of that hopefully we will have a tool forge here soon that is my goal i really want to get a hammer and then i can really go mining All right, so we're pretty much at wrapping up point while I just kind of continually process up some of this stuff. 
Um, I would like to at least get one of these before we go. I want to see. Okay, we do get all four. All right, that's nice. Uh, the other thing that we're going to need for the atomic reassembler is the reinforced stone separator. Okay. Is iron with that. Okay. And we need four of them, if I'm not mistaken. So let's quickly get that as well. Four with that is going to get us four of those. This will be the start of our atomic reconstructor. Re whatever you want to call it. The atomic thing, all right? But I think we're pretty much at wrapping up point. Server's going to restart here right away. And I think, for the most part, we are progressing nicely. The one catch with this guy is we do require an advanced machine frame from Industrial Craft 2. So, for us to do that, we obviously need to get a little bit more advanced when it comes to Industrial Craft. So we'll start out with that guy next episode. Thank you all so much. I truly do appreciate you being here. And have yourselves a fantastic day as the server restarts on us. I know, right? It's so sad. It's so sad, but it's got to happen. All right. Bye-bye for now. Have a good one.